Lord, we worship you. Mighty man in battle. The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Ancient of days. Lily of the valley. Bright and morning star. Father, we exalt. We extol you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the glory. We magnify you exceedingly, O God. We say, be thou enthroned. Be thou glorified. Glory, honor, majesty unto you, O God. All dominion. Oh, Lord, we adore you. We give you all the praise. We join the 24 elders to say, Holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty. Who was, who is, and is to come. Mighty God. Blessed, blessed be your holy name. The one who spreads the, 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 the clouds like a curtain. Lord, the one that sits at the center of the world. Oh, Lord, we exalt you. You sit in heaven and you make the earth your footstool. Oh, Lord, we worship you. 
We glorify your holy. We say be thou exalted, O God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Let us begin to ask for mercy. That God will have mercy on us, O God. He said, You have mercy on whom you have mercy on. And you have compassion on whom you have compassion on. Ah, it's not of me that we are not that running, so it's of God that showed us. Let's ask for mercy of God. Let's ask for mercy of God. Oh, everywhere where we are falling short of the glory of God, that God will forgive us. Let's ask for forgiveness this evening. Wherever you are, Lord, everything in our thoughts, in our mind, even thinking, doubting your promises, oh God. Lord, we ask that you forgive us. Even though things are not going the way we want, we don't want to be cast down. We refuse every every spirit of cast down. We cast it off in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let God arise. Let his enemies be scattered. Lord, in your mercy, have mercy on us, oh God. Forgive us all our trespasses, all our sins, our iniquity, our unrighteousness, unfaithfulness. Father, forgive us, oh God. Ah, Lord, when we remember, oh Lord, all the ways where we have sinned, and where we have gone off from your track, Father, we can only ask for mercy. The Lord, you will forgive us all. Lord, forgive our fathers, our mothers, their sins. Oh God, the sins of generations, the sins of ancestors, the sins, oh God, of nations, of communities. Lord, everything we have done to anger you, everything we have done to disappoint you, every reason that we have given to the enemies of God to mock God. Father, we ask for the blood of Jesus Christ. Let the blood of Jesus Christ cleanse us from every unrighteousness. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, we repent, oh God. We repent of all our transgressions. Oh Lord, everything we have done against you, against you and you alone have we seen and done this evil in our sight. Father, that, that you will forgive us. Forgive our nations. Forgive our men. Forgive our women. Forgive our children. Lord, forgive the youth. Oh Lord, forgive us, oh God. Everything we have done that is stinking. Oh God, even before your throne, we ask that the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood that speaks better things than the blood of you, let it atone for us this night in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet, let the blood of Jesus wash us clean. Let the blood of Jesus wash us clean like I saw. Lord, let us be cleansed from all our filth. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. We are going to ask for mercy again. The mercy that sorts things out. Lord, all the consequences of our transgressions, our sins, we ask that your mercy will help us <laughs> to clear all this mess in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let's cry. Father, every consequence of our sin and our righteousness, let the mercy of God, the blood of Jesus Christ, let it clean us up in the name of Jesus Christ. Every mess that we have got ourselves entangled with, Father, let your mercy, oh God, in your mercy, in your mercy, oh God, remember mercy. Lord, mercy that rules over judgment. Yes, we know we deserve so much. But God, in your mercy, let mercy negate and cancel every judgment, every consequence. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, we plead, oh God. We know mercy is your prerogative. Lord, we ask for your prerogative, oh God. In your merciful prerogative. That we will speak volumes of God concerning us, concerning our families, concerning our ancestral lineage, every baggage that we have inherited. Let the mercy of God remove from us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let the mercy of God rule over judgment. Everything that we deserve due to our sins, our evil, Lord, due to ancestral inheritance. Let the mercy of God and the blood of Jesus let it destroy and remove from us, O God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let your mercy speak, O God. Let it speak volumes over our ancestors, all the evil they have perpetrated. O God, that is affecting us, that is affecting our, the younger generation. Let the mercy of God, ha, let the mercy of God, ha, let the mercy of God deliver us. Let the mercy of God speak for us, O God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Every curse that is 
working against us, our families, oh God, our, our, our lives, oh Lord, our progress, our destinies, every inherited problem, every inherited curse, every curse placed upon us, even from God, because of our faithfulness of our ancestors, oh Lord, even because of our own unfaithfulness as well, let the blood of Jesus Christ, the blood that took a better things than the blood of heaven, let it avail for us cleanse us oh God negate, negate, negate in your mercy oh Lord in the name of Jesus Christ let the blood of Jesus atone even for the consequences oh God oh laka pase teke niba sukata lama sheke teli zakapa Lord let the anointing of God let it break every yoke every curse every yoke every curse of every yoke of curses Lord let them be broken over our lives in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, over the young, over the old, over the babies, let the blood of Jesus, the anointing of God, break every yoke. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Our Father and our God, we thank you for this time out with you. We ask that you speak your word expressly, O God. Speak, speak, O Lord, and let us hear. Give us hearing ear listening ear. Lord, help our hearts to receive your word and let your word do us good. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus Hallelujah. Christ. Hallelujah. Praise Jehovah King of glory. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Good. Last week we were talking about discouragement. We spoke expressly about discouragement. We mentioned the fact that discouragement, when you when you when you split it, this is lack of. La, I will say that courage is this courage. So that is lack of or absence of courage. It leads people into hopelessness. It makes people fed up. And we decree that that will not be our portion in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. That God will encourage each and every one of us, no matter what we're going through, that God will arise for our sake. Ah, that the Lord Jehovah King of glory will arise for our sake and have mercy and save us in the name of the Lord Jesus Amen. Christ. This discouragement has cost many things, many things around the world. People that used to be fervent for the Lord, people that used to love the Lord passionately. People that there was nothing, they had zeal. Yes, some had zeal but had no wisdom. But yet they had zeal for God. They were, they were, they were interested in knowing about God, coming close to God. But for one reason or the other, due to events, situations and circumstances, man-made and by by forces beyond reasoning, things turned around downward, and they just they just could not understand what was going on. Even some that so fervent in God, they'd be like, why would God allow? So many questions, so many things that face people, that people are wondering, why am I still chasing after this Christianity? What of what use is it? You see, people literally stop believing God. Sometimes these people, it's because of the struggle they have with science. What has science said? When we, when we bring evolution to a par with, with the word of God, no, this doesn't make sense. This is what science says. Science has proven this. Science, this, science, that. Not knowing that science is still the, 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 set up, put up by man, and the wisdom of the wisest of all men is still foolishness before God. We want to use science to negate the word of God. We want to use science to compare with God and say that because evolution said that people developed from monkeys, so that is it. Oh, so the creation in the creation factor of Genesis 1, 1 all the way to 20, 20, 28 does not hold. 
No, no, no. There, there must be a big bang theory. People are, and it was a man that thought of this thing. <laughs> You'd rather believe a man whose breath is in his nostril. And it's fact. What is the fact? The fact that there was a big bang theory, boom, and gases came into being. And why is it not happening anymore? And they said because... Uh, the condition is not met yet. People are being born every day, and they're not being developed from 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 apes, from monkeys. May the Lord help us. May the Lord help our faith. May God help us to keep our eyes on the Lord. All these doctrines of men is still the doctrines of men. The fact that it's science, and yeah, it's, we're not talking about another religious sect. If there's still doctrines of men, there has to be a rationale, explanation for the world around. So because you cannot explain God, you want to explain God. Really? The sun that is up there, how is it staying up and not crashing down? Can science explain that? They said there's a centrifugal force, there's a presentopretal force, it keeps things. Do you see the force? Can you see the forces that are holding the sun, the moon, the earth, rotating and at the same time spinning? Can you see? But yet you believe it because science said so. Whereas God has already said it in his word. Some say, okay, uh, due to negative experiences. We're talking about discouragement and the kind of things it leads to. It literally is so bad that it takes people out of the will of God. Negative experiences people face, you know, within re even within religious institutions. Oh, yes, I know this is, this is a really big one. Unfair treatment, in, even in the church, unfair treatment, favoritism, dishonesty, abuse, power struggles. You see somebody, <laughs> even in the choir, you don't want somebody else to sing because you know that if she sings, people like, you want to blow, you want to be the one that is sought after. You want to be the one that, is, that should be seen. So you quench other people and their talent. Ah, may the Lord not judge us. Amen. Some pastors, they would, they would look for people that are obedient to them. And they will put those ones in places of, of ministry. And those ones that are actually called by God are suppressed and frustrated out of. May God not destroy such people. Amen. That is why the work of God is the way it is. The church of God is, is the way it is right now. Because many pastors that actually have the call of God are frustrated and frustrated out of God. And you see a lot of evil being perpetrated in, in the church. And you'll be wondering why. This is why. May the Lord have mercy and help us to change so that his wrath will not fall on us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You have scandals, disillusionment, it leads to disillusionment and you know disengagement from faith. I mean, how can somebody go to that extent to cause a child of God to err? The Bible, Jesus Christ said it was better that a millstone, that the person was not even born, and that a millstone should be hung around his neck or her neck and thrown into the midst of the sea. If you turn people away from God. Ah, I do not know what is waiting such people. Even though some of them are pastors, some of them are deacons, some of them are, are ministers, gospel artists, they, are, they have done so much evil to others that has caused them to leave the church. Hmm. I pray that God will help us all to repent to and come back to the Lord and do what is right.
in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Castigating people because of their background, because of their mistakes, and you destroy them, you feel that, oh yes, are you Jesus that died for them? Are you the Lord Jesus Christ that died for them? We judge people. Look at the way she's dressed. Look at how he's even being. Look at what he has done. How? How? No. Really? Lord, help us in the name of Jesus. So the word of God cannot be, cannot be seen in the lives of those that are, are propagating this gospel. So it turns many away. Many people have fallen from faith and gone off. To be, so, some will say, well, even in the bear, uh, in the in the club, they welcome them. But we Christians, we know how to backbite, how to stab each other at the back, how to speak negatively and bad about other people. Everyone is a work in progress. Nobody is there yet. Nobody is attained perfection. May God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Discouragement from evil and suffering. Why, you know, people, a loving, people cannot understand why, you know, as loving as God is, and all powerful, people are expecting Superman to come in, whoo, sweep down and, and save the day. That why would God permit so many things? Mm. God is sovereign. But God has given us choices. You and I, God, the same God that gave you mouth and gave me mouth, I can you can, you can use that mouth to 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 chase someone out of the presence of God, or you can use the mouth to build up. May the Lord help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Exposure to. Interfaith and multicultural perspectives. You know, when you when you see the way people, Muslims and Christians are marrying, um, Hindus and people are just, that's why the Bible says we should not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. But we have all, we have all, the ancient landmarks, we don't throw them out. So this also leads to discouragement, people begin to reevaluate. They begin to question. They begin to, I mean, why do I believe like this? If this is working, hmm, may God help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yearning for freedom. Christians now feel burdened by the rules. Don't do this. I mean, Maybe I shouldn't call them Christians, churchgoers. Some churchgoers. Oh, don't drink. They will ask you, what is it in the Bible? And then they become discouraged because they want to do what is in their heart. The Bible says the heart of man is desperately wicked. Who can know it? May God Almighty help us in the name of Jesus Christ. The lack of authentic spiritual experience. You know, when you go to some concerts, when you go to some places, you want to find, you want to find God, and then it's just entertainment. It discourages. When you think, oh, when I go to this place, they said this will happen, and then we get there because many people are not, are not sold out to God. I was listening to a man of God who was sharing. He said, what is the meaning of worship? What is the true meaning of worship? Some people think it's when we come to church. Or when you come to a program and we sing one song or two songs. No! Worship is how you live your life daily. How you live and portray yourself. Even outside, in the secret. Where no one is watching. Where God is watching. How you decide that instead of doing something for the glory of God, you will, you will, you will deny yourself that pleasure. You will deny yourself that thing. So that God can be glorified. If you live your life as a daily, as a living sacrifice, that is the acceptable worship. 
That is the worship we're talking about. It's not when you come together, you start clapping, you sing, instrumentalists come together. Those know. How do you live your life daily? In the secret, when no one is seen, when it's only you and God. When you are not even aware, oh, maybe God is not even, but he, in, in, your, in your heart of hearts, How are you doing? You know, authentic worship is paramount, is paramount to the existence and survival of the human race, of the spirit, of the spiritual race that we're talking about. Where you can, you can be in sync with God. You can be refreshed, rejuvenated in the presence of God. Where where you go to, you will know that you will hear a word that will either admonish you, correct you, chastise you, fine tune you, to, and 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 even energize you for the next level and phase where you can go and be re, re, refired, revived. That's the word. Where you can be revived, but no, we come to the places of worship. And it's, it's like business as usual. There's no impact. There's nothing to go home with. There's no, there's no encounter. Ah, we need encounters with God. So that's to propel our spiritual life. To propel us, to fire us up. That's why there's no revival. Because people have left the place of God. We have left God. We're doing our own. We're running our own show, our own business. And it's all about business of fame, money, popularity. May the Lord have mercy on us. In the name of Jesus Christ. May we be revived again, O oh Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We pray that the Lord himself will help us to reprioritize ourselves to, to align with God. We pray that God will help us to reprioritize, to understand what the things that ought to be so that we can be in sync, in alignment with the plan, the will, and purpose of God. And that we might be able to fulfill destiny. Because if we do not do these things, ah, it might be difficult to fulfill destiny. You know? That will not be our portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray that the Lord himself will hold us by the hand and lead us in the right way. He will bring us out of every form of discouragement. It does not matter what you have, you have experienced by man. The Bible has already told us not to put our trust in any man. Pastor, pastor, missus, the king, choir, and do not put your trust in them. They are only human beings. The Bible has told us specifically that we should what looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Do not put your trust, oh my pastor, yes, we have all been down that line. Where they were, were disappointed grossly. Where we were accused. Where things were thrown at us. And they expect you to, to, to in, in obedience. That is the show that you are obedient. In their own evil. That if, if they do something to you. Then, and you, you stomach it. That means you are, you are dead. That is evil. That is not Jesus. That is not God. They will say yes. They want to test you to see if if you are if you are you are broken. Then they will come and torment a person, and they expect the person to be to, that if the person move or react, that means the person is not dead in Christ yet. Ah uh ah. -uh. Did the Lord Jesus do that to anybody? Did God, the Creator of heaven and earth? Come and test anybody, frustrate anybody, torment and try to thrust them through.
to see if they would if they would be humble. Even someone like Peter, when Peter took out the sword and, and did like this, did, did Jesus condemn him like, like seriously the way these pastors do and these people? They say it means that you are not broken. Yeah, you should you should go and pray for more. They are doing injustice. Injustice. Putting people that ought not to be there. They are putting them over those that are actually qualified. Wow. Wow. May God have mercy. They are putting their own nieces, their own daughters, their sons, their, their brothers in place of people that actually have calling. Even if those people have callings, I'm not saying that some of the, the people that put it do not have, it does not, it should not be over those that are already set. This kind of things, this, it, 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 it makes people discouraged. Huh. May we not be judged in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, when you remember what Jesus Christ said, that those that cause people, children, that turn them away from God, from God, that it was better they were not born. But that even when they are born, they, it, that a millstone would be tied around their neck. Millstone that they used to grind, Abby? That they used to grind the pepper or grind the grain. As heavy as that thing is, should be tied around that person's neck. And if you cause any one of these little ones to err, and many people have erred, they've even left, they don't left the faith because of you. And you're still there on your the pulpit thinking you're going to make heaven. <laughs> Jesus Christ said it's better. That millstone be tied around their neck and they be thrown into the middle of the sea, not at the sea, not at the periphery, so that that person would drown one time. And it was Jesus that said it. And this thing is going is so entrenched. It's it's those that can 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 worship the pastor and all of them that they will be putting. Oh yeah, this one is my child. This one is my son. My, my daughter in the Lord. So let me advance. Really. May the Lord have mercy in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. And God help us, oh Lord, to align and adjust and, and understand these things and that God will receive us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And his church, the church of God will once again be on fire, revived, because the right people are in the right places. In the name of Jesus Christ. The church will be once again the ep epitome of center of the power and authority of God on earth. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's, let's rise. Father, we thank you, oh God, for this time. We thank you, oh God, for the little we've been able to share. We thank you for your presence in our midst. We thank you for the word that has gone out this night. We pray that this word will not stand against us. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. That Lord, you yourself, you cause this word to flourish, to germinate, and to bring forth fruits. 30, 60, 100, in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. So the praise and glory of your holy name. And Lord, we ask that everyone struggling that has been disappointed, that is tired, that is frustrated, that has left the faith because of one or two or other reason that not even mentioned, but you know, oh God, that has just been spent when they've poured themselves and it's as if people do not even see or appreciate that God of reward, you will be their reward. You will reward them duly in due time, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Above all, that you will encourage every heart. Every heart broken. Every heart disturbed in one form of depression or, or another. Any situation that has overtaken, overwhelmed your people. That Lord, you will send forth your word. 
and you will heal them tonight, oh God, wherever they may be. Oh God, in the surface of the earth, in the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. that you will revive the right spirit within them again. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. that you will teach us, oh Lord, to, to seek you and to look unto you, Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. that Lord, it will be well with us. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen. that Lord, you will cause death, oh God. For lines to fall on us in pleasant places. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Because you are our heritage. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Help, help us to keep our eyes focused on you. Amen. Oh Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Help us to be strong. Strengthen us in our inner man. Everyone down. Everyone weak. Everyone troubled. Everyone that has cares. Cares. Oh God. You see, I've told us to cast our cares upon you because you care for us. Even as we cast, Lord, arise and help us. Amen. Save us, oh God. Amen. Everyone seeking your face for one thing or the other. Lord, intervene speedily Amen. in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Let us not be ashamed, oh God. Amen. Oh God, let your people not be ashamed, oh God. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Lord, all those that are waiting to see our downfall, to mock us. That, ha, 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 see them, see them. Lord, arise, oh God. And visit your people. Amen. Refresh us again. Amen. Turn our, our captivity around. In the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Lord, let your power rest on us like never before. Amen. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Oh Lord, Holy Spirit of God. Holy Spirit of God. Holy Spirit of God. Everyone right now bent over. Down. Out. Everyone frustrated. Let the power, let the Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit be poured without measure into them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Everyone, O oh Lord, seeking you for one thing or another. Lord, let your spirit, let your spirit engulf us in the name of the Lord Jesus Amen. Christ. O oh Lord, let the, the, the power of the highest overshadow every one of us in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Lord, every spirit of depression, every spirit, oh God, of frustration, let it be out in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Fill us with your spirit, oh God. Amen. Fill us with your spirit, oh God. Amen. Fill us with your spirit, oh God. Amen. Overflowing in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen, amen, amen. amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus Hallelujah. Christ. Amen. amen. Thank you, Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We thank God for the word of tonight. As we pray, Father, we thank you. Thank you for the word. Thank you for the that you used to minister to us today. Thank you, Lord. We pray you strengthen and encourage her in every way. Amen. Every side. Every discouragement that she's been facing also. We pray, Father, you will strengthen her. Amen. You will encourage her. Amen. Amen. Her, oh God. Amen. Not to have desires of you, Father. Amen. Every remember the first of God. The promises of God come to pass concerning her. Amen. Everything that seems uncertain and unclear, oh Father, make it clear in the name Amen. of Jesus Christ. And let this person also follow in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. Name of Jesus Christ. Uh, we bless God again for tonight, for the blessing of tonight. We thank Him for never leaving us alone. This is His work. Yes. He has tools in His hands. He said, open your, open, just open your mouth and I will feel it. Feel it. We thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. What a, um, for those of us that are coming for the first time, or those that you know, still don't know, we have called the Comforter Foundation, and our mandate is to bring quality care and God's tender love to the elderly. God is also asking us to preach this word from this altar. And also we have our in-house worship once every month. As he helps us also to do outreaches to Amen. the families. Uh, yes, I think since January, we are trusting God for more. It's been around December now, we are trusting God for another one. Amen. To come in the name of Jesus Christ. If Amen. God is leading you to join us. Please reach out to us. Our email is the Comforter Ministries21 at gmail.com. The Comforter Ministries21 at gmail.com. 
you can reach out to us that way you can text us on, on facebook also uh, we have our facebook social media um, whatsapp we have a uh, what's it called uh, instagram. instagram and youtube mm. please for the love of god for the sake of the gospel spread it to the entire world Amen. subscribe like share comment we want to see what you have to say you know about you know what we're doing here what we need to adjust here and there as the spirit leads and god will help us to prayerfully consider them Amen. follow us on instagram and on facebook share the message that's what matters most share the message to reach the end of the world Amen. those the, the people that are just wished share them thank god for internet thank god for youtube thank god for facebook it helps us to reach the unreached. So please share, share, share. And we will bless you mightily. The sharing is not for the share is not for fame. It's not for any self-glory. It's for the word of God to spread to the entire world. And the Lord Himself who never owes any man, He will not owe you. He will bless you abundantly. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. We speak from the little, little tiny experience that we have received from you and still receiving of the blessings of obeying Him. Please join us and partake of those blessings. It was leading you to join us in the outreaches also to the elderly people. We we'll supply them with food materials, clothing materials, Bedding. uh, beddings, uh, medical outreaches, Education. you know, medications, several things, adult diapers and so on. Whatever the Lord is leading you to, 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 to give. Water projects in areas that you know they are having water issues. As God is leading and directing us to do also, God is helping us to do these things. It's not Amen. for pride, it's not for show, it's not for show. Mm. But then, when God might lead us to do a thing, we don't question, we don't say, oh, what, what will people say? It's not a matter of what will people say. Uh -huh. It's a matter of what, how will God feel if we don't know what He asks us to do? And like we always share here, as people, as a person, we don't want to be on the screen. We don't want to be seen. But we have to do what he asks us to do. So if God is leading you to be a partaker of this, feel free. Reach out to us. Amen. So next week, Friday, we are having our in-house church like this again. And the last Sunday of the month, we have adjusted the time to favor several other people that joined us online. Amen. Last Sunday of the month, between 1 p.m. and 2 p.m. Amen. Uh, uh, Central time, we have our in house worship. We are just meeting to people, you know, from everywhere all over the world as God will, you know, have people reach and join us. So we're having our in house worship again last Sunday this month. It's going to be uh, 1 p.m. Central time by the grace of God around that time. And we trust in God to so signify Himself among us and within us in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Shall we share the grace together in fellowship? Amen. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of our God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, God's goodness and grace shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen.